The big opportunity with AI, I think, is it's honest. Honest. Now, I asked them for the same not for two not, I'm sorry? Not, not judgmental. Yeah. It, no, it can be, it can make mistakes, obviously. It can hallucinate, but there's, give me, I'll give you two examples. The one classic example that Jack Hittery shared with me years ago, when I was first trying to understand what this was, was pathology slides. So if I get a pathology slide in a Western country for prostate cancer, the pathologist will overread cancer. They'll see there's more cancer than there really is. Why would they do that? They, they do it because they're humans. They don't want to miss a cancer. So they'll say something is a more advanced tumor than it really is, just in case, because they're not sure. Uh, pathology slides read by AI don't make that mistake because they're just bluntly telling you what it is. So the right number of people have their prostates taken out. That's true in the West. It's also true in the East. But the more pervasive issue today is we have a little bit of a illness industrial complex. There's a lot of money spent to make us sick, making foods that aren't good for us, subsidizing those foods. Sometimes they're addictive foods. You know, we support, I, I think we probably put as much money in the tobacco subsidies in America as, as fruits and vegetables. You know, it's just not done in a way that an objectively honest person would want. But these are historical realities why these were done. I'm not blaming the people. It just is true that we're not doing our best. AI-generated advice will have to tell you the truth. It doesn't fall prey to human failability because it's kind to be kind and an effort to be kind hurts you. But like a parent who loves you but does the wrong thing by enabling behaviors, it also will take on special interest groups that maybe don't want you to do the right thing. And I think if you put those together, we have an opportunity, not just in the West, but also in, in the rising billion to say honorably, your water is so poor that you can't be healthy, as healthy as you could, because you have arsenic levels you know, 100 times more than they should be. So as a country, you need to do a better job with water supply. I mean, basic stuff. It's not just curing polio, which would be nice also, but it actually starts to get into these issues that expose pathology that otherwise we would ignore.